And of course, people from Metro Detroit are still reacting to the verdict. We want to bring in Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle now live this morning, former Macomb County Sheriff as well, for your reaction. Thank you for being with us this morning, County Executive. Good morning. Thanks for having me. First and foremost, what was your reaction when you heard the guilty verdict? You know, it, it's sad. I mean, it's a sad day for, you know, law enforcement, but the reality was, you know, it was justice. I think, you know, you realize uh, being in law enforcement and having been a teacher in self-defense and communication courses over the years, uh, you realize there was a much better way of handling that situation than what we had seen out there on the street. So I think everybody got to see it firsthand. And, uh, you know, with that, I don't know that many people out there would, uh, would argue uh, that, you know, the system uh, dispensed the justice that was necessary here. And uh, fortunately so, you know, I'm a believer in, in the system we have, probably the best system in the world, uh, yet there are flaws. And so with that, you know, there are challenges and uh, understandably people want their voices heard sometimes when they see things like this. And I think, you know, I think the judge did an incredible job of controlling the temperament in that uh, courtroom, uh, making sure that the evidence that needed to be provided was provided. Uh, but everybody that saw the video, I think, would come to that very same conclusion. And, it didn't take that jury very long to make that unanimous decision on all three counts. Now, you were Macomb County Sheriff for 10 years, and you served in the Sheriff's Department since 1981. You come from a law enforcement family. As a former police trainer as well, how do you think this will affect policing in our country? Well, you know, I think you know, I, I can't help but say it. I believe, you know, 99% of all police officers are there to do the right thing. It's unfortunate. I think sometimes you get a few officers that, you know, whether it's a racial issue or if it's sometimes what I believe is that contempt of cop, you know, they're, they're in a situation and uh, they're asking somebody to do something uh, as small as getting out of a car or dropping a handgun. And, uh, you know, there becomes this, uh, this need sometimes uh, where somebody is defying them uh, to be more aggressive. And in doing so, you have no right to do that. So an officer doesn't have a right to dispense uh, just justice, meaning uh, the punishment out on the street uh, when they do so, they're putting themselves in a situation of uh, now violating the Constitution. And uh, they could face criminal charges, as we had seen uh, play out here. We do want to be transparent here. We brought you on originally uh, before the, the verdict was announced to get your take on the coronavirus pandemic. So let's switch gears for the moment to talk about vaccination efforts, specifically in Macomb County. How's it been going? It's been one of the hotspots since the start of the pandemic. Yeah, I think the big concern early on, you know, no different than when we were trying to find PPE and now we have stockpiles. You know, how do we get test kits to test people? Now we have uh, plenty of testing opportunities. Early on, there was an opening for people to come in when we didn't have a supply. Uh, so that demand was greater than the supply we had. And with that, created an incredible amount of tension. I don't think we're at that point now. I think what you're seeing around the, you know, the entire state, uh, now there's a push to try to figure out how to get people or convince people to get vaccinated. Uh, you know, we're going to be at a point shortly here, I believe we're going to be able to just go ahead and take walk-ins. So, you know, with that, it's not so much uh, looking for the vaccine anymore. It's uh, trying to convince people it's the right thing to do. Uh, but from my perspective, I leave that to the experts, the scientists and those that are in the medical profession to tell people, uh, you know, whether it's right for them. And uh, you need to talk to your doctor to make that decision. Uh, but, uh, you know, understand this, there are plenty of vaccines available for people that do want it. And uh, we'll continue to reach out into the communities uh, for those that are looking for it, but just can't quite get to the location to get vaccinated. And the hard numbers there in Macomb County, more than 313,000 people have received their first dose. More than 188,000 people are fully vaccinated in your county. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, county Executive Hackle, we do appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me.